We staan hier op Twente Safety Campus. We zijn deze week begonnen met het lassen op de waterstofhoudende pijp. En dat is mede mogelijk gemaakt door het onderzoek wat gedaan is door DNV in Amerika. Het is een joint industry project waar wij ook lid van zijn. En de projectleider van het onderzoek staat naast mij. Dat is Bill Bruce van DNV Columbus. En um, I'm going to change in English because it's an American. So I got to ask the question in English. And so the question to Bill is... What is, in, in general view, the research you did, what made this possible to weld on a hydrogen-containing line? Thanks, Otto Jan. So uh, I've been involved in uh, welding research and development for about 35 years or so, and a lot of the work that I've done is focused on how to make welds onto an in-service pipeline safely. And two of the concerns are, one is that these welds tend to be susceptible to cracking because they cool very quickly, yep. and then the other is, obviously, there's a risk that the welding art could actually puncture the pipe well and allow the contents to escape. So we started a joint industry project at DNV um, about two years ago where we are looking at um, the, uh, the cracking potential of welds made onto lines that uh, contain either mixtures of natural gas and hydrogen or pure hydrogen because when you make a weld onto the outside, the inside heats up quite a lot and you can get an uptake of hydrogen by adsorption for the inside and that results in hydrogen in the welds, which is one of the requirements for hydrogen cracking in welds. So we've started out with 30% um, hydrogen in uh, methane and we've moved on to 100% hydrogen. Um, and we have found that there is uh, an uptake of hydrogen under certain conditions, particularly when the pipe wall is relatively thin. But there's also ways to um, account for that addition of hydrogen from the adsorption on the inside surface. So we're making some, some very good progress. And then we've also done some recent experiments where we uh, actually intentionally produced burn-throughs or where the welding arc penetrates the pipe wall just to see what the consequences of um, a burn-through with both natural gas, uh, methane hydrogen blends and pure hydrogen is. So that's been very interesting as well. So glad to have contributed to this stream of work and what we've been doing in um, Small scale at our, in our experiments in the U.S. is very nicely complemented by the full scale work that's being done here today. Okay. Well, thank you for the recap. And due to this work, we were able to do this work here. So from small to full, it's a big step. And we're happy it works out the way we want it to. So thank you for joining us and being here, Bill.